we're going to do a quick and easy unboxing of the game. Keeper. This is Justin and Max Games, and we just got this one in the mail. Yep. It's from Huck and R&D Games, or Huck or Huck or whatever you would say. And Richard Breeze is the designer. Let's see what this game is all about. Or at least what the pieces are. I know really very little about it. So we got a bag of gems. Bag of gems. Let's see these gems. They are the classic gem. Oh, like the ones that you see in Istanbul and... Yep. Uh, Ascension and all A lot games. of bags. A lot of bags. We always appreciate that when companies put these into... These are good sized bags. Good sized bags. Not the teeny thing. bags or these enormous bags that are too large. They're good sized bags. Good sized bags, not oversized. Looks like there's stuff that's already in some bags. What do we got? Meeples. Meeples. They're standard, classic meeple figures. Lots of colors, though. What else we got? Some sort of icon thing. What is that? Resources, maybe? But then I guess these are resources. And resources. Oh, definitely resources. Oh my gosh. There's lots of pieces. Let's show some of the some of these things. I like how they're individually cut out, so it's not just like a token. So these are the animal tokens. They're all wooden. They're color-coded, and they're really neat. Uh, this is in the morning, so we have a pretty deep shadow here, but I've never seen a game with so many details for so many different wooden characters. We have... Uh, dark brown cows, burgundy deer, chickens, gray goats, pink pigs, white sheep, light brown horses, and a wild black boar. Du, du, du. There are so many wooden pieces in this game that... Uh-oh, what's happening? What's happening? Ah! Okay, that's that. Let's see what else is in this game. Player boards, I believe. Player boards. Oh, I like the appearance of these. And they're very clear with the icons. Yeah, you see sheep. Ah, here we go. There's the pigs and your usual wheat and grain. Different colors bag. of stuff. Whoa, a bag. So this is maybe some kind of a bag. You're pulling cubes from a bag or discs from a bag or animals from a bag or something from a bag. There goes the bag. There goes this. English instructions and German instructions. English and German instructions. What are we going to do with the German instructions? Goodbye. There we go. <laughs> Keep our boxes as thin as we possibly can. What else do we have in the box? These are player boards. Those are probably... Or I, don't, I don't even know anymore. Oh, yeah. Maybe we get two player boards in the game. Looks like there's going to be some tiles that are going to go here. And maybe that's a money counter or score counter, something like that. Oh, definitely player boards because they're in they're yep. in each of the colors. And now we get to the meat of the thing. Uh oh, what do we got going on? Pop outs. Oh jeez, look at that stuff. Okay, pop outs. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see some of these tiles. So we got some taller tiles. Oh, that's neat. Castles, and it shows the animals and some people. Maybe Looks like, like what animals you need. Yeah, some probably. Some. There's some tents. Nice. Like a symbol. Oh, yeah, it looks like some kind of medieval tent and or something. And then the other like side that. shows what's in it. Yeah, cool. So maybe you get it and then you try to score it or you get something for doing something. We have no idea what this game like, is about. Like you buy it, then you gotta see what you got or something. That's possible. Who knows? And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a quick and fun unboxing of the game. Keeper. Just uh, looking at the box here, what do we notice? We notice that there's a flow chart about what you do on your turn. Wow, I've never seen that on a box On before. all the sides. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. That's a lot of and it's easily readable and it's got the color codes. Excellent. Usually on the side of these boxes, sometimes they just give you an advertisement for another game. Yep. What do you think about that, Max? I love that idea. Because, like, you're like, instead of digging out the rule book, you can just, like, done. <laughs>